Howard Stern, man. I just want to see this guy. I don't know what we have to do, but we, we want. I just want to see him really clean up, have a different attitude, not be so sleazy. He'll be a respectful young man. Should he grow back that mustache? Probably not. That looked really like he looked like a porn director with that mustache. Don't grow back the mustache. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say he has to cut his hair. He probably should cut his hair, but it's okay. I you know, it's okay. I'm okay with the hair. You gotta be respectful. Bring a respectful person onto the show. And you know, don't start asking these inappropriate questions, Howard. Okay. It's time. It's time for you to just. How long have you been on the radio? Are you gonna seriously? Do you, are you gonna do this forever? Really, just think about it. Stop for a second. Stop doing whatever the hell you're doing. You're probably watching pornography. I think there's a pretty good chance you're watching pornography. Just, I guess you don't want to turn it off. You probably, I'll, I'll compromise. Just pause it so the image will still be on the screen. Just pause the pornography. I really want you to turn it off. But at the bare minimum, pause. Listen to me, Howard. You don't want to do this shit for the rest of your life. Don't want to be a sleazy guy asking sleazy questions. You have no character. You come on there and you immediately start telling people to... What do you do? You just start telling women to get breast implants? Are you kidding me? That's what you do. People take you seriously for some reason. They should take me seriously. They take you seriously. You have all these devoted fans. They're fucking insane. Are you going to continue this forever? Stop for a second. Just stop. You know what? Just take the fucking porn movie out of your DVD player. Or I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you're watching on the internet. Just fucking... Uh, turn it off. Turn it off. That's it. I'm doing it by force, okay? That's it. That's how I do things sometimes. I'm forcing you. You want me to come over there and just take your fucking porn collection? I'm going to fucking bury it. Bury it? No, you might dig it up. You will dig it up. You're a fucking addict. I'm going to light it on fire. Howard, listen to me, okay? First of all, you know I'm going to take your ratings. That's it. I don't give a shit. It's inevitable. It's over for you. Rodney Epstein rules radio. Howard Stern... You're finished. You're done. I fucking own you. You're my property. I'm going to send over a leash. You put that shit around your neck. And you know who your master is. I'm your master, Howard. You're nothing. Your fucking haircut. You're fucking ridiculous. You're a ridiculous human being. Talking about breast implants all day. Well, I'm sending women a different message. I'm sure there are plenty of them listening right now. Ladies? You don't need breast implants. You look great. You look fantastic. Howard Stern doesn't know shit. Sleazy guy. Doing sleazy things. Getting paid porn money. Believe me, it's, it's porn money, okay? Someone goes onto the show and you just fucking open your mouth. You open your fucking mouth. That mouth should be taped shut sometimes. You're pretty entertaining sometimes. But you open your fucking mouth. And you basically fucking, you just spread your filth out there. You're like Johnny Appleseed of filth. Johnny Appleseed was a great American. He planted apples. Good American apples. What do you do? You open your mouth. You spread your fucking filth. You unload it on us. That filth influences the masses. These fucking lowlifes who listen to you. I, I listen to you too, but I'm not a lowlife. I don't listen to you that much because you have to pay to listen to Howard Stern, which is ridiculous. You don't have to pay to listen to Rodney O'Hepsian. I'll pay you. That's, what, that's the kind of guy I am. I'll pay you. I don't have any money. If I did, I'd fucking pay you. I want to make sure you fucking listen. Because you need to listen. The world needs to listen. You spread your fucking filth. You desecrate the memory of Johnny Appleseed, a great American, with your filth. You're so pleased with yourself. You think you're some fucking... What do you think you are? You think you're some fucking world hero. You're thrilled about the fact that all these lowlifes worship you. And as for the people who hate your guts, and they're numerous, you think that they're just, you think they're the fucking psychotic ones. They're not the psychotic ones. They're good Americans, like me. You know, you're so pleased with yourself. You're so in love with yourself for that, just because you have legions of followers, most of whom are low-life pieces of shit degenerates. They watch porn, too. They're definitely watching porn right now. They're smoking marijuana. They're watching pornography. A lot of people hate your guts, but you don't. it doesn't mean anything to you. I don't know why. It should. Because respectable people hate your guts. People with character. People with principles. People with morals. Richard Nixon would have fucking executed you. When I become president in 2013, which is right now, it's inevitable. You cannot stop this. My movement. It just, 
It's it. It's, it's, it's done. It's done. I'm president. I'm president right now, basically. I'm not going to wait till I win the election in 2012 to take office. I'm just, I, I took office. Obama, he's not really president. It's the whole lame duck thing. He's a lame duck. I'm an active duck. I'm out there. I'm up there. What am I doing? I'm doing some serious duck activities. Whatever the hell ducks do, I'm doing that times a billion. I'm the top duck right now. You know? I'm the fucking duck right now. I just... I'm an American duck. My feathers are red, white, and blue. I also have like an Israeli flag. Somewhere worked into that. I'm a great American. I'm... 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 What was I talking about? Howard Stern. I'm a great American. Obama's a sitting duck. I'm an active duck. I'm out there making things happen. And when that ha- when I'm president, when I become president in 2013, although I am president now, when I become president in 2013, Howard, just fucking start hiding like Bin Laden. Do you have a bomb shelter or something? Just stay there. Don't air anything. If you have internet access, resist the temptation to actually put something out there. Because guess what? As long as you fucking sit in that bomb shelter, maybe I won't go after you. Even though I know where you are. You think I don't know? I know everything. I'm like Nixon. I know every fucking thing that's going on. You're nothing, Howard. You fucking disgust me. But as if you fucking release anything while you're in that bomb shelter, that's it for you. Waterboarding. All day. All day. Have you ever been waterboarded, Howard? Huh? I'll waterboard you day and night. It's legal, Howard. It's fucking legal. Even if it isn't legal, I'll make it legal. Cruel and unusual punishment? Fucking ridiculous. That's... Bill of, I'm not so sure I'm fond of the Bill of Rights, generally speaking. Some of them are okay. The Founding Fathers supported cruel and unusual punishment. I thought the liberal media passed that amendment. I don't know how they managed to pull that one off. Fucking liberals. I'm bringing back cruel and unusual punishment. I'm not going to use it that often. Sometimes you have to use it, though. I'm going to bring cruel back, cruel and unusual punishment, but I'll just waterboard you because I'm a nice guy. I'm a good Christian 99% of the time. Cruel and unusual punishment... Or waterboarding. I'm gonna fucking waterboard you. You know what I mean? Then all those women who like you told to get breast implants, I'm gonna invite them over and they're gonna just kick the shit out of you. All of them. You know, you'll be tied to a chair, they'll just fucking torture you. They'll they'll waterboard you. How's that? There's a plan. I'll put that on fucking TV. That'll get some good ratings. Rodney Ohepsian. President Rodney Ohepsian is gonna bring together those women that Howard Stern told to get breast implants. Howard Stern's going to be tied to a chair in his bomb shelter. He, he went to the bomb shelter to hide from President Ohepsian. Then he released something on the internet. He pissed President Ohepsian off. You fucked up, Howard. What the fuck were you thinking? Do you know who I am? I'm President Ohepsian. I don't fuck around. I hunted him down. Rodney Ohepsian hunted Howard down in his fucking bomb shelter. I already knew where you were, asshole. But you crossed the line. So with all the women that you told to get breast implants... And they just, they just torture, torture, that's it. You know what? Enough waterboarding. We're going to torture you. Fucking Howard Stern. The hell do you think you are? I own you. I fucking own you. You're still wearing that leash. That leash I sent you. Because I told you to. You do what I say. You son of a bitch. You're fucking corrupting the world. You only care about people who are famous, by the way. You think I haven't noticed that? As soon as you hear someone's famous, oh, wow, he's famous. Okay. Bring, get him onto my show. Yeah, I'm very interested in this guy. I'm very interested in him. Yeah? Someone's not famous? Fuck him. I guess you don't care about Vanilla Ice anymore. You used to care. In 1991, you were desperate to interview Vanilla Ice. That's all you wanted to do. Nowadays, you, just, you don't even care at all about him. He's still active. He's still putting out songs. He's still performing Ice Ice Baby. I saw a performance recently. It was pretty good. He's a good entertainer. He wasn't just a random guy chosen to become a superstar. He's a good entertainer. It's a good song. It's a good song. I like it. He's a, he's a good dancer. Vanilla Ice. He's a good fucking entertainer, Howard. But you don't care about him anymore. You cared about him when he was famous. All you care about is fame. You're a piece of shit. Howard Stern, wear the fucking leash. I know you're wearing it right now. Bark for me, Howard. Bark. Start talking about Israel more often. I know you support Israel. Just talk about that. I'm your master. Do what I say. Wear the fucking leash, talk about Israel. And then shut your fucking mouth. Then put the tape over your mouth and go back to your fucking dungeon. Your bomb shelter, your dungeon and hide there. You're nothing compared to me. You're nothing. What do you even do nowadays? You don't do shit.
You watch pornography. You go onto your show. You spread your horse shit. Your legions of fans. I'm a fucking great American, Howard. You're nothing. You don't deserve to live in America. We should send your ass to Yemen. Fucking lowlife. 